Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat the Godskin Noble. This is a really interesting fight, and given that it's a church with some pillars, if you're a Dark Souls fan, you should know what that means you're going to have to do. So, this guy is a fencer. I have a friend of mine who fences, and I'm sure he's going to love to see this boss. He stabs a lot, obviously, but what this means is that he can drain your stamina super fast because it's all piercing damage. A 100% uh, physical block shield will block the damage. However, you will take a ton of stamina damage in the process. The boss can also summon these white fireballs, and he can also put a ring around himself, and that you just have to roll out of. There's really no other way around it. He can sort of push his belly out like you saw there. Um, when that hits you, it won't deal a ton of damage. It's a little hard to predict or even dodge unless you're at a good distance already. But if you're trying to get in his face to do things, chances are you're probably going to get hit by it at least once. When the boss has a really long charge, he's going to do a big thrust similar to the grafted scions. For that, you just want to roll. You will usually only do it once, so it's not too much to worry about. One thing I do want to mention is, if you watch my videos, you know it's pretty rare for me to use any sort of buffs, but this guy is really weak to bleed. He is just a humanoid enemy after all, and so if you have anything that can stack bleed, use it on this boss. He will explode with damage once the bleed stacks all the way, and Blood Flame Blade is a really good way to do that if you have the faith requirement. So the other thing I want to mention is that he is parryable. So if you are feeling confident and comfortable dealing with his abilities, then just try to parry them. You should be able to survive at least one hit, maybe two, uh, if you fail a parry, but if you're not, if you don't have enough health to survive that, don't try parrying unless you're very, very confident. Sometimes the boss will inflate himself, and when he does that, he's gonna do one of two moves. He is either going to fly up into the air like this and slam down, that's easy enough to avoid, or the other thing he can do is he can inflate and then begin rolling around. When he rolls around, that's when you want to use the pillars, and that's going to happen here in a second. So he's going to inflate, and then I'm going to get him stuck between these two pillars, and then it's going to make my life a whole lot easier. This move right here, the double slam down with the hilt of the sword with the skull crusher, it's really easy to avoid. Just make sure you dodge two of them. It's always two. I don't think I've ever seen him do it just once. It's always two. So just dodge twice, and you'll be good to go. So you see here, he inflates, and then I can literally just stand here, and he cannot touch me. If you have any spells, go ahead and cast him if you got him caught like this. Otherwise, just wait it out. After he finishes spinning, he does kind of pause for a moment so you can get a couple free hits in. That's pretty much it. So with that explosion, it's the same thing as phase one, except now it deals a little bit of magic damage and a little bit more physical damage, but it's the same sort of puffing up ability that's a little hard to dodge. And that's kind of it. That's Godskin Noble. He's going to pound down here one more time. Unfortunately, I'm going to take the hit because I was just so surprised that I was able to get him down this far on this attempt. One thing I do want to mention is you should stay close to him. I know that seems a little counterintuitive, but if you are at arm's length of this boss, he is able to really shred your health. And if you're blocking, he can just completely guard break you. So just be careful with that. Just stay in his face. For defeating the boss, you'll receive the Godskin Stitcher, as well as the Noble Presence Art of War. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.